Did you know that you can be spiritually out of breath? And basically, it's because spiritually, we can sometimes not breathe in pure air. And that is what we will be talking about today. In this series called Breathe, we are discovering how breathing is a lot like worship. We breathe in, we breathe out, and worship works in the same way. We take in God, we take in the inspiration He brings to our lives, and worship is what comes forth, what comes out of us when that happens. And sometimes we don't always breathe in pure air. That means that we don't always behold or take in the pure image or the real truth, the real image of of who God is. And it gets polluted or tainted or mixed with our preferences, preconceived ideas, cultural ideas sometimes about who God is. And the air that we breathe in gets polluted. When that happens, worship can't come forth from our lives. Um, health issues arise when you, when you take in polluted air for, for so long. And therefore, worship will get unhealthy or even um, non-existent in our lives when we constantly um, take in polluted air. Uh, We don't take in the pure air, the true picture of who God is. And we all fall into this trap sometimes. We are all in constant danger of doing this, um, deciding that we want God to be something else, something we can maybe understand, someone we can maybe control. We might have some sort of preference of who he ought to be in order for us to worship him. And this has been true for many years, even from the beginning. Um, Jesus came so that we can have life and life in full because we get lost so easily. We lose our way so easily. And if we think about um, God's people, the Israelites, that he led out of Egypt into the desert um, by Moses. He, He did miraculous things. He looked after them in miraculous ways. And the moment Moses left them to go up the mountain, they made a golden calf to worship. They made some sort of preference they had for God, for God to be in their life, something concrete, something they can control, something they can understand um, in order to trust. And they exchanged pure air, the true picture of who God is, for something polluted, something not real, something not as satisfactory um, as God can be for us. A.W. Tozer said, Left to ourselves, we tend to immediately reduce God into manageable terms. We like to put God in some sort of box that works for us. But this does not aid our worship. This does not bring inspiration to our lives. Because who God is and who he um, came to reveal himself as is not someone that we can fully comprehend. Think about Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 9. It says, and it's the Lord speaking. He says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. See, worship is fueled by inspiration, by wonder. And wonder comes when we behold someone greater than us, bigger than us, someone we can't fully understand or comprehend, even though we can know him deeply and intimately. Worship starts with the awe and wonder that his otherness, his unpredictability um, brings when we behold the true God. And maybe today you are asking this question, how can I get rid of these preferences in my life, these boxing in of who God is ideas that I might have? How can I breathe in pure air when um, I come to worship? And the answer is simple. The answer is we look to Jesus. Jesus is the fullness of who God is. In Colossians 2 verse 9 to 10, it says, For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. 
Hebrews 1 um, verse 3 also says, The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. In Jesus, we have the full picture, the full revelation of who God is, and we can look to him as pure air to breathe in, to be inspired by, so that true satisfactory worship can flow from our lives. Now, today we prepared a song to minister to you, and it's my sincere prayer that this will give you an accurate, pure, true picture of who God is, um, and that will stir inspiration and worship in your heart. sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from every fear those who look on him are radiant they'll never be ashamed Never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard me and saved me from my enemies. The Son of God surrounds his saints. He will deliver them, He will deliver them. Magnify the Lord with me, come exalt His name together, glorify. and see that the Lord is good oh blessed is he who hides in him oh fear the Lord oh all you saints you'll give you everything you'll give you Fire the 
If you enjoyed this content, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel.